All right, what's up everybody? Brian Tong here, and yes, we're talking Apple Vision Pro, and in my review, I talked about how the best way to describe this device was with the word immersive. So what I wanted to do is show you, in my mind, the most immersive apps in the entire app store. So, you know, new apps are coming out every time, but this is gonna be all about the apps that you should check out that give you the most immersive experience in here. So let's put on the headset, okay? All right, so we're here at the home screen, and obviously one of the most immersive things about Apple Vision Pro is the environment. So I'm just gonna turn the digital crown here, and we're gonna jump right into beautiful Haleakala. I love being in these environments. But if you didn't know, Apple allows app developers to build their own environments within their app. So let's check out some of them. I'm just gonna go and find Disney Plus here. And here's the Disney Plus app. who's watching me. Now, what you'll see here is this is the main um, screen, but if you look over here on the left, you'll see that icon, which is the two mountain peaks for the environment. So I'm just gonna select that. And what you'll have here is four different options, Disney Theater, Avengers Tower, Scare Floor, and Tatooine. So we're gonna go to Disney Theater. And it's just gonna let us know, be aware of your surroundings. It's gonna take over with this environment. And what we have here now is we are in El Capitan Theater, and even here on this fringe on the border, if I keep on turning this digital crown just like this, it's gonna fill out the rest of this environment. So I can turn all the way back, and I can see the balconies up at El Capitan. You can see the back of this chair right where it's supposed to be, but if I lean back, it's not gonna be there. But this is the entire El Capitan Theater down in Hollywood. Pretty sweet. And then you can obviously just watch movies directly from here, um, right in front of you. But if I play a movie right now, um, DRM won't show it, so it'll just be a black screen. And look at the hand occlusion here. Like, oh my gosh, this is pretty wild, like how good it is, okay? Let's go now and change and check out Avengers Tower. And this is amazing. Let me move this out of the way here real quick. And what you'll see here is the entire New York City skyline. You see a Quinjet over here. Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, Iron Man's helmet. We've got a freaking Hulkbuster. Keep on turning around, you see like Ultron's helmet, Doctor Strange's cape, and I keep on wrapping around. There's Infinity Gauntlet, Tony Stark's gauntlet from with this Infinity Stones in it somehow. I'm just gonna slowly make our way through here. There's Tony Stark's piano. You have all the different Mark, Iron, Iron Mark, uh, what, one, two, is that four? All the different armors, and then you even have rescues there. You can see all the way back into the back of Avengers Tower. And then you have even details like, here's a bag of shawarma. There's the Kamoyo beads from uh, Wakanda. There's a note from Tony Stark. I don't know if that's Miss Marvel's uh, bands. I don't think they are, but maybe they are. So this is pretty amazing. Let's just grab this here. And let's check out our next environment. Let's go to the scare floor. All right, now we're here in the scare floor. And if you look around, you can see all the doors, right? Two of them are hanging, still swinging. There's a guitar. I believe I'm in Mike and Soli's office here. You can see those canisters for that hold the screams. I'm just gonna move around slowly so you guys all can get a little view here. And obviously the movies would be playing there but here's the office desk. There's a little drawing from Boo. So this is pretty amazing. Now let's go check out Tatooine. And this is awesome because look, we are in a land speeder. I talk about the hand occlusion. Look how good this is, right? It's as if I'm driving the land speeder, all right? If I move this a little bit, you can see the two suns setting. Most Eisley, it looks like all these land speeders are around us. Are we at like a, a land speeder drive through You can see the tail engine here. This is freaking awesome. And then if you watch any content here, the sun dims down to nighttime and um, it's literally like you're here hanging out in Tatooine. I don't go to that because, because of DRM, it just turns everything into a black box. But these are just the awesome environments that you'll find here. All right, so let's go check out another app with an environment that is custom made. So I'm gonna scroll over here and let's go to 
Max, AKA HBO Max. And if I look over again in the left-hand corner where the two mountain peaks are, I'm gonna click on that. And an immersive environment, Iron Throne Room, let's go there. And there's gonna be another heads up about stay aware of your surroundings, I'm gonna hit okay. So we can just show you, you know, quick shots and images of the Iron Throne Room, just because for whatever reason, it's not letting us screen cap it, probably because of DRM. But I mean, just imagine being able to watch Game of Thrones in the Iron Throne Room where so much happened. Um, it just makes these immersive environments just so cool to be a part of. So we talked about immersive environments, but another thing that a lot of people have asked me is like, okay, Brian, um, I, how do you actually do the full super big screen that we see with Apple TV and movies and whatnot? So I'm gonna show you because the key is, you actually have to use the Apple TV app to get this whole, that big, feels like that 200 foot home theater experience. So let's go here and we're gonna go to the Apple TV app. Now because of DRM, we're not gonna be able to see any movies. It's just gonna be like a, a black rectangle. But what I'm gonna do is show you as much as I can. So let's go to the Apple TV app and I'm gonna click on it and we have some movies here, right? Let's just go into something like, you're not gonna be able to see this movie because of DRM. It's, I'll just play it in 2D. But I wanna use this light background so you can at least get the best idea. So here's the movie, okay? Yes, it is a, you know, a little black rectangle. But if you look in the left, you'll see that, again, that environment icon. And let's do Yosemite light. I'm gonna hit that. And what you'll see is, the screen expands really large. Your movie would normally be here, okay? But let's take this to the next level. I'm gonna go back here. If you want it to be like a night, you can also see it Yosemite at night. So let's go to dark. And just imagine, right, you're in a night environment watching the movie. The glare and reflection of the movie will actually come and hit you. Okay, we're gonna reduce this size. And then this is where I wanted to show you the controls for the crazy cinematic scene. The actual Apple's actual video um, does the best at showing you what it looks like. So I'm gonna go here. It really simulates it well. I'm gonna go to cinema mode. And again, you won't be able to see this, but when I click down here in cinema mode, you'll be able to see different locations sit. So you can sit front on the floor, middle, back and while I'm doing this, the actual location of where you're sitting is smoothly transitioning in between these spots. You can go up to the balcony and then again sit on the back row of the balcony, middle or front, which gives you a higher perspective, but this is just an incredibly immersive experience. Yeah, we're looking at nothing but a black screen, but I wanted to show you the controls so you knew how to actually get there just like that. So that's how you get into the huge, cinema mode in uh, the Apple TV app. And you can't do it in the Disney app. You can't do it in the HBO Max. Sure, you can get a big screen, but to get that fully immersed feeling, it's gotta be here. Now, another app that's super immersive in a home theater way, definitely I suggest to check out the IMAX app. So here you have movies that are gonna be played in the IMAX format. A Beautiful Planet is free. A Deep Sky and Journey to the South Pacific, you have to uh, pay for, but It'll put you in a theater. It feels like a real IMAX theater. You can change seat positions and it's it's just like there, you're there by yourself. So this is an amazing app. Again, it's gonna stop me from seeing it because of DRM blocking, but definitely check that out for another really cool immersive experience. Now, if you wanna talk immersive, for me, Amaze VR Concerts, this is the most immersive musical experience that the Apple Vision Pro has to offer today. So let's go into here. This is basically a private concert with artists in these virtual worlds that you move around in, but you have like a really a front row seat and they're looking, they're singing right at you while they perform like my man T-Pain and you can check it out for yourself. Each artist has a free song so you can download it and the option to purchase their whole performance is there as well. My hands, they show up all fancy and crystal and cool and I can interact with it so I can be a part of the show too. And there's plenty of other artists from different music genres. If you like Avenged Sevenfold, I think they're coming later this month. And I can't wait for Megan the Stallion. That's gonna be pretty sick. But Amaze VR, this is another one of those apps that is totally immersive and you gotta check out. And I know it's already on MetaQuest on the App Lab, but the image quality, the video quality, um, the clarity and the depth, 
The video just looks even sharper and cleaner here on Apple Vision Pro. I also know, you know, I did that cool NBA app demo in my review that got pushed out in a lot of places, but you know, sports is another place where Apple can really give us more information and be more immersive. So we know everything about the NBA app, right? You can see your stats, you can see multiple game streams at the same time. I, I'm, I'm actually using it for that, but let's go here and show you just another sneak peek of what is possible here. So let's go to the Major League Baseball app. And this is basically a tech demo of what's possible. It says Vision Pro, get in the game. Let's go to watch now. So here we have the display. You have all the runs in the game, the batting order, the lineup, what's recently happened, the pitcher. And then we have a strike zone here. So let's just see what happens. And look here, you have the strike zone, probably the hot zones where the pitchers, and it shows you exactly where the pitch is. Over here, you get the pitch stats called strike. Let's go again. That was called a ball. <laughs> Top of the zone. Is this incredible to see this all happening in real time? Remember, Apple has Major League Baseball as a partner. This is, they're basically saying, this is what we're going to do. I can even click here, and this shows me how the defense is aligned and positioned for the batter while he's at bat <laughs> these are like different modes that you can change to okay let's go here to the stadium mode and here we are if you just want to enjoy the game not be inundated by all the stats and kind of sit back you have this here but i love this strike zone view now you have the batter here on the left side is this incredible? Like, Apple Vision Pro is the future of sports and interactivity, and it is so impressive. I can even rotate um, this strike zone just to kind of take a look at it and the angles, right? Woo! And the strike right there. Incredible. Incredible app. And remember, Major League Soccer is also with Apple. So you get Major League Baseball, Major League Soccer. I can only imagine what the NFL is going to show off. And then we also have Apple Immersive Video. The NBA has already announced that they're going to work with Apple to, to bring that experience to the game as well. So there's so much exciting things that are happening around sports. Okay, so we talk about sports. Um, should we talk about gaming? Because a lot of the games here are really mixed reality games where it's something like Cut the Rope just floats here in the space that you have. But I would say one of the more fun um, games that really takes advantage of your environment is Super Fruit Ninja. So let's take a look here. So what's unique about this is that it has custom gestures for the game. So you, gotta, you have to put your hand in a chopping motion to slice. There's a Ninja Star motion. You also have the environmental detection. So watch what happens when I chop this fruit, if I can do it right. Part of it hits the table, part of it hits the floor. Well, that's a good thing, a super. Chop across, let's see if I can use the ninja star properly. Okay, got that. You can just see though, this game, although mixed reality, very immersive using the environment that you have in front of you. Super cool, so, you know, it's one of the few games where you actually, you know, use your world, but it's really immersive. Most of them are just like floating in front of you and you can play them. But, you know, I just wanted to show you, whew, I've been wearing this for a while, right? I just wanted to show you some of the really immersive experiences that you could get on Apple Vision Pro right now. There's gonna be always more coming, but, um, you know, play around, have fun. And if you don't have one yet, I just wanna kinda take you inside it. But there you go, look at some of the most immersive apps on Apple Vision Pro that are available right now.